Good morning, Snapchat. It's Friday. We are about to cycle up the mountain. What are you guys doing? Natasha's jumping around in her pants back there. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> crew is building. So after my run yesterday, my legs were really, really tight this morning. My quads were burning, my adductors were sore, and I was, yeah. And when I started out the ride, I was actually quite nervous, like, oh, how am I going to finish this? This is a world of pain, basically. It wasn't feeling too good. And it was interesting. My mind and my ego was thinking about the hardest part of the ride, which is the very, very end. It's the steepest bit. And I was thinking, how am I going to do that? And all I could do to get through the ride was focus on the present moment because I couldn't control what was going to happen at the end. I can only control what happens now. And this is where the mountain becomes like a little meditation. You have to stay present moment, bring yourself back to the now, back to the present. That's all you can do. And it's just like life. We always fear the unknown. We fear what's going to happen in the future. How am I going to deal with that in the future? What's going to happen next? It's the present. It's the present moment that we control and it's in the present moment that we find our power. So don't worry about how am I going to finish the end of the race, what are you doing now? And all you can do in those moments of doubt when the egoic mind wants to go straight into the future, bring it back to the present and keep going, one foot in front of the other, keep going. So if you struggle with keeping yourself in the present moment, we strongly recommend you read the book The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and then get on your bike and apply it. It's amazing. Just wanted to share with you guys how amazing it is to be surrounded by the energy of the like-minded people that we show you in the morning up the top of the mountain. There's really something special about being surrounded by like-minded people, something with the energy, you know, just people who give a damn, who give a shit. Who... You know, there were 19-year-olds there all the way through to 67-year-olds and every age in between, both males and females, caring about people animals, the planet, their health, getting fit, reducing their environmental footprint by cycling instead of using uh, transport. And not a single one of us was born vegan. All of us were born into the same culture where eating meat, dairy and eggs is considered normal, natural and necessary. And yet we've all decided consciously to no longer be a part of that cruel, cruel system. And if you're watching these videos, you are being exposed to the same information and the same education that we were, and you too can make a better choice. And it all starts with what you put in your mouth three times a day. That is your most immediate point of control. Back from the mountain, hydrated, and it's time for some vegan croissants, bagels, and other assorted pastries. Oatmeal mango cinnamon making a very interesting delicious kind of lunch today something different and we're going to record this as a mukbang, mukbang mukbang whatever, whatever we're doing it i said to natasha well, what do these sliced cucumber look like she said slugs i can see what she's talking about i was thinking casino chips what do you guys reckon slugs casino chips Snapchat, you're gonna kill us. We just finished eating lunch and we forgot to show you anything because we recorded our mukbang video so maybe watch the mukbang video uh, mukbang and video it was sword. so good it's so funny though, the day that we actually make something different yeah, and fabulous and entertaining, we forgot to show them. <laughs> oh well. I know, that's bad. It was tasty. million bucks if anyone can guess what we're having for dinner tonight <laughs> yeah he's laughing because he's in bloody trouble we just rewatched our snaps from today he showed me in my undies i didn't even know that was up there and someone took us I, I swear i didn't know guys i didn't look at it before well, i uploaded you need it. to check it and we've got a rule in this house because we're always walking around naked because it's so hot doodles and nipples 
What do you mean doodles? Have you got one too? Well, I've got doodles doodle singular. and nipples. Yeah, but we I don't need nipples. I don't care. You've got my big orange daggy undies and we always have to check for doodles. So I've just deleted that snap and whoever took a screenshot, please just delete it. Like, oh my God. And it was the worst undies of all. I can't believe so we call those undies Natasha's Baba's Gushki. Oh Baba in Macedonian is grandmother and Gushki is undies. <laughs> this is way too personal. You're an idiot. 18 years, folks. It could end tonight. I'm going to get you back so badly. You should wait for tomorrow. I'm going to find something so bad. So in conclusion, we're now looking for three things, Luca. Doodle, nipples and undies. Not to be put on Snapchat. Do we have an understanding? Yep. So stay tuned folks because tomorrow you might see some of Luca's grandi mutandi. <laughs> That's his papa's gashki. <laughs> if you missed it, think Bridget Jones's diary. Oh my god. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, watch it. They're just big and old and I was comfortable. <laughs> oh, this is a big one. Hopefully it uploads overnight and we can put it up tomorrow. It was pretty fun to do actually. We had a good time. Saying good night, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> yes, we'll figure out how to get our revenge on Luca tomorrow. Ha ha ha.